Yeah. I liked his performance in more Rocky Four because he was helping he was helping out Rocky the Apollo and of course he had that line Throw the damn towel Yes <laughs> Throw the damn towel Now you're gonna go through more pain than you ever have before or whatever he says to him in the in the in the shack there. Yeah. Yeah. That that was a good that was a good speech he did and, and when he talked about how Apollo was his son and uh, at the and of course in Rocky Balboa he had good he had good speech then too. Yeah, and he had that tiny tiny cameo in in Creed, but it was more like a you know that clip from Rocky Two where Apollo's hitting the speed bag and he's standing beside Apollo. Yeah, they put that clip in in Creed also. And yeah, he was, yeah he was also in uh, Saw and Precinct Thirteen. You remember, you remember that one? Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he had a role in The Shining too. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. But and Rocky was his meal ticket, definitely. Yeah, and his son, his son's in in Creed. Oh, cool. Yeah, Duke's son. Okay. What's funny is uh, when I think of the word of the name Rocky in the in the Rocky series, I think of George Washington too. So it's kind of weird that you have two characters named Duke. Yeah. <laughs> And he wasn't in that one. Eh? Well, he was in five in the beginning. Yes, he was in five in the beginning. Yeah, yes. he has a cameo. For me, that scene in in Rocky two when he when he's trying to tell Apollo that Rocky's all wrong for them. That's like my favorite performance by him. When he's like he's like, I know what you're feeling. Let it go. You know, I love that. I love that. Yeah, scene. I, I think that was his. I think that was one of his best in the Rocky series. Yes, def definitely. Mm -hmm. So, uh, oh, shit. Oh, damn. Sorry, y'all, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, okay, no. Yeah, but I, I was telling Matt that I've been on all this week, um, just working with my dad and stuff, and that I gotta leave out Monday morning at 4 o'clock oh, again man. for another week, so. Well, it's gonna be hard, man. Yeah, but I mean, I think after that, I'll be good. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'll kind of get back to the flow of things. Mm-hmm. It's just uh, speak, cash. Yeah. yeah, speaking of Rocky, again, are, are you going to go, are you, are you going to see the Oscars tomorrow? Probably not. I'd rather put my dick through a meat grinder. Yeah, I think I'm just <laughs> going to wait for the news. You know, like, post-Oscar, because tomorrow I got a, I gotta go pick up, uh, I gotta go to Ikea tomorrow, and then I gotta come home and assemble a whole bunch of stuff. And, uh, I gotta edit, like, I still gotta edit the video we did last time with Matt, so. I got about, I got about nine hours of stuff to edit. For tomorrow. Damn. Okay. Yeah. Best of luck to you. Thanks, man. <laughs> Same here. Thank you. And then and then Bud sent me another request about no Adrian in in, in uh in Rocky Balboa and in Creed. And it Dang. it strikes like uh, something in my brain that I remember uh when Sly Magazine came out, like right before Sly Magazine came out with the script for Rocky Six and Eight. There was a script going around by Mu this guy named Mushy. I don't know if you guys saw that script. But in that, I do, I do see. I think I remember seeing on Sly Stallone Zone. I think. Yeah, and, and in the script, it was exactly. Well, it wasn't exactly like Creed, but it was pretty much Creed, except it had like Adrian was still around and Paulie was still around and and uh, Rocky was working with Mickey's gym and he was losing the gym, and he needed money, so he was training Apollo's son. You know what? That I think that story would would make would make the movie better. I haven't seen it yet, but I, I've heard I've seen other people's reviews, but I think that would have made it much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would have liked yeah. to have seen Adrian back. I mean, I don't. It's a it's an either way thing. I mean, it would have been nice, uh, but leave, like even by Creed, you know, just all the characters are pretty much dead except for Rocky. It's kind of depressing. Yeah. I just get, it, you know, hits you in, in, I, in a bad way, not a sad way. 
Yeah, I, I would think that for the next one, if they're gonna, if they, if Sly decides to do Creed two, I would, I would suggest that really, they go back to that adage of you know like, you always run into, um, a lot of people before you die. You know, you always have that. Well, a lot of times, a lot of people have this kind of psychic closure. I would, I would like to see like, refilmed flashback scenes with Talia Shire. And like Burt Young, while they're still around, you know, to kind of look at, you know, Rocky's battle with cancer, uh, comparing it to like Adrian's battle of, with cancer and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Well, you want, uh, I, I remember we what you said about uh, how a lot of people show up show up when you're about to die. You kind of said that when I had the idea of uh, Rambo Five when uh, Rambo is about to go. When Rambo becomes take becomes the sheriff of the town and he and he and, and uh, he uh, he's a uh, that Tito once took over and then uh, Sarah from the from Rambo Ford comes to visit him and then she leaves and then this 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 uh, attack happens on the town kind of like kind of it's based off the book uh, from First Blood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and like you kind of think of it and it's like such a wasted opportunity. Like Rocky Six was a great movie, but. It would have been so much better if they would have had flashbacks with Adrian to kind of show, like, the weight of how everything that happened with her affected Rocky to the point where now he was so dilapidated in the beginning of Rocky Six, you know? So. Well, speaking of um, Stallone, you think he'll win his Oscar? I think I believe he is because I, I believe he deserved it because uh, he's been he's been he's been shit on after all these years. So I hope he gets he got the Golden Globe because sometimes the Golden Globes kind of pre they predict who might win. So I I have a I have a I believe he's gonna win. I'm, I'm only gonna watch it for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I watch the Oscars every year like the Super Bowl is like the Super Bowl to me. But but I kind of uh, but I understand how some people uh, don't like the Oscars. And I don't blame them for it, but. I am gonna watch it anyway. I'm, I'm definitely gonna watch, watch uh, see if he wins. I hope he gets that. Yeah, I mean, it'd be probably the highlight of the Oscars for me. But like, it's like I told Matt before. You know, I just I've lost interest, um, especially more now when they're it's such an uproar with this uh, controversy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So it's kind of like. Okay, you're, you know you're bitching about Oscars so white, and you don't even watch the Oscars. Just for the, I'm talking about those who just you know talk about the talk about the topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all that bullshit about the boycott and all the racial stuff. I'm like, it, that 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 they took they just took it too far. I, I hate when they do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just and there's that sex scandal that came out last week. That, you know, I thought that was going to have a bigger effect, but it's been hush-hushed in the media. Well, let's, uh, shit, the call graph is glitching up. Uh -oh. I was going to start recording right there, and now it's being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anyways, uh, we'll just keep talking. Alright, if you want, I can send you this. And you can uh, chop it up and... Let me see. Let's see if I can get it. See. Let me test that out. Alright. It says record and finished, so... I don't know. Let's see. Oh, shit. Yeah, but I don't want to hang up the group pods to get, you know, listen to a test. That's uh, no problem. Yeah, if, if, if you need to do that, it's, it's totally fine. Let me see. Oh, man. So I'm hearing Bill Paxton is going to play in the Training Day TV show. Yeah. Really? Yeah, he's going to play the bad cop. Whoa. Damn. It's not the worst choice, 
But I'm like, okay, for real, we trying to, you know, do we, are we not learning with Rush Hour? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's totally different, but. Yeah. Oh, man. It's, it's like that, it's like that show, uh, you, ever, you know that show Shades of Blue with Jennifer Lopez and Ray Liotta? Yeah. It's something like that. Yeah. I mean, who knows? Oh, I'm just getting worn out. <laughs> and they, <clears throat> and also they're saying that the, uh, the Crow remake's not gonna happen now? It's unnecessary? Oh, I fucking hope not. I, I fucking hope not. I, I hope that's good news. I hope that's good news. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think the director is saying it's unnecessary, and I agree. Mm-hmm. So. Damn. I'm just trying so to see what we're talking it. about tonight? Uh, Contra. Uh, Contra. I think the, a little bit of The Punisher. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I'm called graphics being a bitch. We'll, we'll talk about the talk about the little bit of the history of Contra and stuff, and and, how, and we can go back and talk about the uh, how about the movie about the cool to have a Contra movie like we did before, and maybe go on to the Punisher. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you guys want to do, if you guys want to mix it up, whatever, whatever. It's all uh, it's all no. good for me. Yeah, we'll talk about those two things. We'll talk about those two things tonight. All right. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, guys. No, no. <laughs> it's understandable. It's all good. No, uh, fucking traveling's got to me. It'll do um, that, man. That driving and shit, man. It's all. Well, like, it won't. Be. Like, it's an hour and a half. That's still cool. But that's the cool. travel, because we're going to a different place on Monday, and that's going to take four and a half hours. Yikes. So, Damn. I mean, I went to bed at like 10 o'clock last night. And that's not, that's not usual. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, driving is always like, it's just long distances and stuff, like, wow. Like, we go to Jersey a lot, and that's like five hours. Actually, that's, wait, no, that's eight hours. And uh, we go to Connecticut a lot, and that's five hours. And it's, it's long, man, it's... It's really Dang. long. Well, let me see. Let me check out this test real quick. Yeah. Um, so, whoever wants to end the call, and then we'll start it back up. Yeah. Or so um, I can hear it. All right. Or or you can just uh, you can just hang up, and then I'll keep this going. And if you want to ring me back, okay, then I'll, I'll, I'll re-add you to the call. Okay. Okay. I'll right. I'll, I'll I'll still be here. Alright. Alright. Yes, yeah, so I'm planning on next time we go to uh Jersey, I'm planning on stopping by at Jay and Silent Bob Secret Stash. Oh Yeah. Hope that will be cool. I hope to have a Kevin Smith sighting. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, I hear he's there a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't, I can't get enough uh, watching the super, the, rock, the Supergirl show. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I'm gonna start watching all of them. Like, I, I still haven't started watching uh, uh, Gotham yet. I'm gonna start watching that. I'm gonna start watching uh, a bunch of these shows that I haven't started watching yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 